Hi and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to learn how to make um, red chili pork tamales. This is the ingredients we need to make the chili for the tamales. The chiles, salt, garlic, and cumin. So you put them in the pan and you, you just grill them just a little bit just to get the flavor out of them. After you cook them, you put water to boil, and once the water is boiling, you turn it off and you put your chilies in there. When the, once the water is boiling, you put your chilies in there so it can loosen up the chilies. They're going to get soft, and once they're soft, so after a minute, you put them in the blender and you're ready to make your red chili sauce for the tamales. Now that we already made our chili, we blended it all in the blender. This is what we have. This is our red chili sauce, and now we're going to strain it so we could cook our pork meat in this chili for our tamales. So we're straining it, getting rid of all the juice, putting it in the pan so we could cook it. And put all the chili sauce in here. Strain it. The reason we strain it is just to get rid of that the skin of the chilies because it gets a little bitter and the chili um, the chili seeds. Now that we've made our chili, now we added our pork so it could simmer with the chili and get all the chili flavor. The pork we just put it to boil with salt and onions and once it was done boiling it got soft we shredded it and now we added it to our chili sauce so now that it's already simmer see it's already simmer it has all the flavor of the chili the meat so now we're going to turn it off and we're going to use it for our tamale um, meat with red sauce and this is, an, this is an example of the masa that i bought at the store it says masa prep, and that's what it is. You buy the masa that's prep, and this is like 6.47 ounces that I'm going to make, and then you buy lar for the, your tamales. It's an example of what to buy to make the tamales. So now we're going to get our masa ready for the tamales. We're going to add one cup of lar and one cup of chicken broth. broth. We're gonna add some lard to it. I put it in the microwave for like a minute. And now we're gonna add one cup of chicken broth. So we can get our masa going for our tamales. And I only put like a, a pound and a half of masa. And I'm going to add another pound to it. So we're just slowly adding to the mixer our masa. So that's like half a pound. So we're going to continue to add little by little the rest of our masa. In total, we're going to add six pounds of masa. This is slowly but surely we're gonna put it all in there. So you could always taste your masa if you feel that it needs a little bit of salt. You could always add more salt to it. You don't wanna over add salt because then it's not gonna taste good. So see? how it already blended all the lard and all the chicken broth. Now I'm gonna add another 
another half a cup of lard to the masa. And half a cup of chicken broth. And then we're gonna mix it until it's ready. It takes about three to six minutes. And that's our masa for our tamales. So we've been mixing about three minutes already. And the trick to find out if your masa is ready, this is a trick. You turn off your mixer and you get a, a full cup of water. And you get a little bit of your masa and you throw it in the water. If your masa floats, that means your masa is ready. That's our trick. So see, we're gonna throw it in the water. And if it floats, our masa is ready. So there you go, it's floating. If it doesn't float, if it goes straight straight down to the bottom, that means your masa is not ready for the tamales. It needs to be mixed more. So now that we're finished making our masa, our masa is done. Our chili sauce is done with our pork meat in it for our red chili tamales. And now I wash all our corn husk and they're ready to go. So now we're going to start making our tamales. So what you do, you grab a corn husk and you add your masa and you just grab it and you add your masa in the middle and you spread it around. Once you're done spreading, then you add your meat in the middle. Once you add your meat, you fold it and you're ready to go. And that's ready. And you put them all in the same pot. So you put it in the pot and then it's ready. You start putting them all in the pot. And then they're getting ready. So when you cook them. So that's what you do. You get you get a, a corn husk. And then you add more masa. You add your masa to it. Spread it around in the middle and the bottom. You don't need to spread on the top because you're gonna fold it. And then you add your meat with juice and then you fold it in half. And then it's ready to go. You let the excess juice come off and then you put it on your pot to cook. Then here's the next. You get your corn husk you add your masa, you spread it around, just on the bottom, because you're gonna fold it. And then you add your meat with chili sauce. And there you go. There's another tamale right there. You fold it and you let the excess juice come out and then you put it in the pot to cook. And you go so, you, you keep on going until you finish all your masa and your, your meat and your, with your red sauce. And then you're gonna cook your tamales once you're done. So see, we already did, this is our fourth tamale and it's easy. You just gotta get everything together. So see, we put it in there, it has a lot of juice. You let the juice come out and then you fold it and it's ready. That's your tamale. And this is our tamale pot. This is where we're gonna put our tamales to cook. We fill it up all the way to the rim where it shows the divider. That's how much water we put in it. Once we fill it up with water, then we put it on the stove so we can cook our tamales. And the tamales go on top of the, that pot then filled with water. So now we're finished making our tamales. We're gonna put them to cook in our steamer. So now we're gonna put one by one. We already filled it up with water so it could cook. And now we're gonna just add them. So you start adding them on the edges or you make a whole row. We're 
gonna add a couple of um, corn husks to the bottom so they won't get too much water in them because there's some water down there. You just cover a, a little bit. And just start adding all your tamales so you could cook them. They cook in like about an hour and a half and medium and medium um medium high on the stove. So see here we're gonna fill up our our tamales so they could cook evenly. It's okay if some of the juice comes out. It just goes to the bottom of the pan. Because it has water on the bottom and it's gonna cook. It's perfect. We made just enough to cover the whole pot. And there it is. There's six pounds of masa made a full load of tamales for the pot. And now we're gonna cover them. You put some more corn, corn husk on the top just to give more of the steam so they could stay in there or they could cook, they could cook evenly. And after that, once you cover them, you put the lid on it and then you cook them. And they'll be ready in about an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes. After an hour and a half, we're gonna come and check on them. Look at this, fully cooked. Oh yes, let's taste it. Delicious. some green salsa on our tamal. A little bit of salsa. And enjoy your red chili pork tamal. It's delicious. Mm-mm-mm.